I'm not sleeping very well. You lay awake at night, and all this is going through your mind. Will this be my last year in business? Will my employees be able to continue working for me? Will I be able to continue providing for my family the way that I've been providing for them? I don't want to be, I don't want to be the generation that, that loses the farm. Let's face it, I think everybody, including myself, was shocked that he was elected. But I voted for Trump because he does give us a better chance of uh, getting things back on track. Good morning, Jamin. This is Joel. Hey, when you get a chance, can you give me a call? I'd like to go ahead. 2016 was a very difficult and trying year for me. Uh, the past three years, I haven't been able to grow any cantaloupes or cotton. There was no water. Our workforce used to include 14 employees. We're down to three. Normally, I generate a pretty good source of income year after year, but you know that's been cut in half. And this last year was almost cut by 75%. But the payments don't go away. You've got equipment payments, real estate payments, utilities, you have all these insurance payments. We still have mouths to feed. I had to string people along until I got them paid. I had to borrow money from family members, and um, I don't like doing business that way. But you know, who does? It's a tremendous amount of risk, and the banks have been very sensitive to that. They look at the uh, the whole climate of of our area out here and well, why do we want to continue loaning money to somebody that, that doesn't have any reliable source of water? I was meeting with two of the representatives from my financial institution. One had traveled from Seattle, the other one had traveled from Washington. Uh, and I was kind of thinking, well, why would they have to send somebody all the way from there? They were part of a division of the bank that looks at farms that, that might be a little bit uh, compromised as far as their finances. I think 10 minutes into the conversation, the lady said, well, I'm sorry, but we're not going to be able to help you. I was floored, thinking about all the commitments that I have, including my employees and their bonuses and, and all the things that are happening in my operation quickly could be gone. ¿Qué pasó? Bien, bien. ¿Está bien? ¿Está bien? Bien, bien. Está bien, muy bien. Oh, good, good. Yeah. Perfecto. OK. Uh, lo siento un poquito tarde con este, pero uh, tengo uh, muchos chingazos. No, no problema, no. Todo so. bien.
even here in California, a lot of people that live in the state just think that there's beaches and Hollywood and movies and Silicon Valley, and they don't realize the tremendous amount that the agriculture community has on our region. When we first started, my wife and I, man, this is, this is easy. You know, we had a plentiful supply of water, markets were good. Everything was working in our favor. Five years ago, when I took over the restaurant, um, every day was packed. You know, the, the farmers were coming in every single day. And the last five or six years, it's been very devastating on everybody out here. I, I'm not getting those turnover tables like you used to. I'm just basically keeping open to keep my employees employed, basically. How much fun is that? Yeah, it's not. It, it, it's <laughs> no fun to me anymore. No longer any fun. I'm cheap labor, though. Yeah, yeah. I, family's always cheap labor. <sighs> Today we're here to talk about the resource that's keeping more and more California farmers and families up at night, and that is water, or the lack of it. As anybody in this state could tell you, California's living through some of its driest years in a century. Secretary Bill Sack was here today. At the time, the water situation was probably at his, as bleakest, and we were very hopeful that he would have a good message to send to everybody in this region. Wildfires, storms, floods are potentially going to be costly, and they're going to be harsher. Uh, droughts have obviously been a part of life out here west since before any of us were around, and water politics in California have always been complicated. But scientific evidence shows that a change in climate is going to make them more intense. The message that he wanted everyone to uh, be told was that we need to be more cognizant of the climate. It's not the message we wanted to hear. Is that something that people talk about or think about out here when it comes to either the short-term or long-term planning for farming? No, not at all. I don't think I've ever engaged in a conversation with anybody about global warming in the valley. Um, it, it probably exists, but not so much in our area. I know our, our patterns have probably changed a little bit. I was gonna say, our climate has changed a little bit and the seasons have changed. And it's all due to probably rotation of everything, but um, yeah, I, we don't buy into that whole thing at all. If you're a farmer, you don't buy into that. in favor of protecting the environment. We're stewards of the, the land. We want to make sure that, that there's a maintained balance for everybody. But when it affects our livelihood to the tune of, of what's been going on in the last couple years, you know, how much more can we take? There's a lot of people that were, I think, like me in the agriculture, and this is it. If we don't have a, a change of command, uh, we're done. to solve your water problem. You have a water problem that is so insane. It is so ridiculous. And I just met with a lot of the farmers who are great people, and they're saying, we don't even understand it. They don't understand. Nobody understands it. Now, they're trying to protect a certain kind of three-inch fish, but... Uh, Spot on. Hope. Reason to uh, continue. 
words that we've been wanting to hear for, for a long time. But we, uh, we just feel like we've been so alone, um, like on our own little island, so to speak. And now finally somebody is throwing us a, a life preserver. And so we're going we're gonna to swim to safety, and we're going we're gonna to be okay. We're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. Thank you.